Hey everyone, Dave here. Logitech has been delivering a lot of good webcams for many years now. And they deliver again with the new Logitech MX Brio. This is a high-end 4K USB webcam that's designed to replace the highly popular Logitech Brio webcam. And later in this video, we're gonna test out the video quality, even on Zoom, Ring Central, and Microsoft Teams, as well as there's two beam forming microphones built in that Logitech claims has AI noise cancellation, which we are gonna to put to the test with barking dogs and blenders. The Logi MX Brio is made from an all aluminum body. It's a high end webcam that feels durable and solid. There are plastic parts on the webcam, which is actually made from about an 80% recycled material, which some people will really appreciate. It's plug and play ready to go on almost any operating system, including Windows, Mac, Chrome OS, all you have to do is just plug in the USB-C cable into the webcam and computer and you're ready to go. I like that it's magnetized to the clip that attaches to your laptop computer screen or monitor display. And then on the bottom of the webcam, there's actually a screw. So if you wanna attach it to a tripod to give you even more flexibility. There's three hinges on the clip that allows you to attach it to almost any size or shape monitor or display. I was able to easily attach it to my laptop monitor as well as my extended uh, display monitor that's a bit thicker. The third hinge is actually able to adjust the angle of the webcam which you can do uh, something called show mode, which allows you to show off items that are below the camera. So we can use it as a top down shot to show off a close up of some headsets and the buttons and features of the headset. Quick note about the show mode is that with the clip, it was difficult for me to find a position of the clip in order for me to position the camera downwards to get it into show mode as it kept falling off of my display. So I really had to angle the clip in order for it to stay properly. The MX Brio is a wide angle lens, so you can actually choose different field of view, so different wide angles. You have 90 degree, 78, and 65. I prefer the 65 as it gives you a more up close look, which I prefer, but you can always have it in the 90 degree wider angle if you have multiple people or just like that look. You can easily twist the lens in order to close the shutter for extra privacy. And there's a white LED status light that lets you know that the webcam is on and active. Download the Logitune software that allows you to adjust the settings and keep the firmware of the MX Brio fully up to date, or you can use the Logi Options Plus app if you already have that in order to adjust some of the settings of the Brio. There's a feature called Right Sight. You can turn it on and it uses AI to detect your face and your body so that it's able to automatically frame your face front and center and try to give it a better picture in order to increase the way that you look on camera. There are three modes. You have the furthest mode, which obviously makes you the furthest away from the camera. Then you have default, which is a little bit closer. Then you have closest, which keeps you as close to front and center as possible. And if you feel like customizing the colors to match your certain style or your room, you can do that through the settings and really fine tune all the sharpness, the contrast, white balance, and all of that. Plus there's even color filters that you can add like the black and white mode or just other fun different colors if that's what you prefer. For me, the standard auto features and the original filter work perfectly fine for my preferences. The Logitech MX Brio has been certified with Microsoft Teams, Zoom, and Google Meet, but of course it will work on other platforms as well. It just means that those companies have certified it to meet certain standards that they've set. Have a look at how it performs on each of these platforms as well as Ring Central video meetings so you can see how well the performance is on each of those apps. In order to get the highest resolutions, you have to go into your video settings on Google Meet, Zoom, 
and even ring central video meetings and select the 1080p version. Keep in mind, this will use more bandwidth. So full disclosure to you there. Now have a look at how well the Logi MX Brio performs in a different environment and compared to my built-in camera on my Dell XPS laptop. What did you think of the overall camera performance? Obviously it performed much better than the laptop camera, but I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the MX Brio as far as how it handled the different lighting situations. I thought the kitchen scene looked the best as there is natural light in front of my face and behind the webcam. The office scene with the full studio lights also looked well. The low lighting scene and outside didn't look the best, but still performed decently. I was surprised by the amount of detail that the webcam showed, especially in the kitchen scene. You could see the gray in my beard, even the hairs in detail. They have a sensor that's 70% larger than the previous Brio, even though that it has the same resolution, it's gonna give you more detail. The webcam has two beam forming microphones built into the body of the webcam towards the front that also use an AI noise canceling algorithm. So have a listen to how well it performs for yourself. This is what it sounds like in a quiet environment with the MX Brio. This is what you can expect the voice quality to sound like. This is what it sounds like with typing going on in the background with the Brio. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like with typing and neat noise canceling software. This is what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like with barking dogs going on in the background. This is what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like with barking dogs going on in the background with me. This is what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like with crying babies going on in the background. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like with crying babies going on in the background with me. And this is what it sounds like with a ridiculously loud blunder on the MX3. And this is what it sounds like with a blender warning with the software. You can add neat noise canceling software to just about any type of microphone. You can try it for free to see how well it works for you by going to neep.com and downloading it. The webcam microphone didn't perform overly well. It was a bit echoey and the noise cancellation didn't work so well. So I'd be cautious unless you don't care about professional sound or you have a nice, quiet, private office. Otherwise, I'd just stick to getting a noise canceling headset instead. If you need help finding a headset, that's what our team here at Headset Advisor does. We sort through the thousands of available options and make a tailored recommendation. So it's super easy and simple. We'll make sure that it works with your phone system and your environment. So give our team a call, email, or live chat, and we'll help you find the right solution. The Logitech MX Brio costs about $200, which is the higher end of webcams as far as pricing goes. So if you don't need the full 4K and all the extra features of this webcam, then you'd be fine with the Logitech Brio 305 or 505 as those would be fine options. But if you want a webcam that really delivers on quality, the MX Brio is definitely one to consider. We have the Logitech MX Brio listed on our website. Just click the link in the description or on the screen here, but make sure you use coupon code YouTube, all one word to get an even bigger discount. If you wanna learn more about that neat noise canceling software, we did a full in-depth review of the software, tested against people in the background and blenders, all sorts of noises so you can hear it for yourself. Check out that video right up here. Other than that, that's all I got for you on this video. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you on the next one.